Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 11 of Book 8. Before we get started, we need to define square numbers. So, according to definition 18 of Book 7, a square number is an equal multiplied by an equal, or a number which is contained by two equal numbers. So in other, in other words, it's a planar number, but where the sides are both the same. So b times b creates c, c is a square. Another definition that we need to look at is the definition of a duplicate ratio. And this was uh, definition 9 of book 5. So if we have a series of proportions where a is to c is equal to c is to b, then a to b is defined as the duplicate ratio of a to c. And just to give you some context of why it might be called a duplicate ratio, we have uh, an example where a, a squared to ab is equal to ab to b squared. In other words, both of these um, ratios are a to b, and thus a squared to b squared is the duplicate ratio of a to b. So this is where the name duplicate ratio comes into play. But again, the definition is shown here. This is the definition. So what is this proposition? This proposition says that if you have two square numbers, there is one and only one mean proportional number, and the two squares are the duplicate ratios of the sides. So in other words, if we have two squares, a and b, and the sides are c and d respectively, then there will be one um, number e such that a is to e and e is to b, and a is to e is equal to e is to b is equal to the ratio of c to d, and thus a is to b is the duplicate ratio of c to d. So this is what we are trying to demonstrate in this proposition. So let's start with the proof. Again, we start off with two numbers a and b, which are square numbers, and their sides are c and d, respectively. Let e be a number such that it is c multiplied by d. Now, c is to d, so c is to d is a is to e, because we can just essentially ignore this multiplicative factor. That's according to Proposition 17 of Book 7. Again, a is to e as c is to d. And likewise, we have that c is to d as e is to b. So c is to d as e is to b. And if we look at these two equations, c and d, c to d is the same, so that means that a to e is equal to e to b. So we end up with this equality. Now, we have that a to b is equal to the duplicate ratio of a to, d, a to e, excuse me, by definition of what is a duplicate ratio, but a to e is also equal to c to d, so thus, e to b is the duplicate ratio of c to d, because these two ratios are the same. And thus, we have demonstrated that we started with two square numbers, a to b. We have found one and only one number that is the mean, and a to b is the duplicate ratio of c to d. And thus, we have demonstrated this proposition. 